There we go. Welcome YouTube, it is your boy Dave coming back here with a very special video. See, as you can tell by the video itself, or the uh, little picture on our screen, GTA is going to be shutting down on the 16th. Now, I'm not sure if it means later in the day of the 16th, if it's as soon as it turns to the 16th, or if it's actually the 15th, but it's really the 12th, or by that I mean like 12 o'clock on the 15th. You know, just so that way they're super accurate about it. Regardless, regardless, we're going to be trying to get some footage of uh, GTA 5 in its last days, or I should say last hours. Um, I made a live stream yesterday basically trying to gather enough footage of the online portion of this game before it shut down. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the hell is going to happen to this game afterwards. Uh, maybe most of the content will be pushed to the regular single player, but realistically, considering they haven't done that or even thought of doing it, it doesn't seem like much of a possibility. Now, what we're going to be doing is going through mostly just the stuff I was trying to do. Uh, consider this sort of like a metaphorical, I guess, GTA Online bucket list. Now, I did a live stream. I did a live stream on Twitch, and that went as well as you would expect, right? And for me, I can say one thing, right? A lot of these modes, no one's playing. A lot of fucking modes on GTA 4 or GTA 5, no one's playing. No one's playing any of these fucking modes. And it's a damn shame, in my eyes. It's a damn fucking shame. Uh, I really, I would love to see people play these fucking modes, but no one's playing them. No one's playing them. And it makes recording footage for certain modes a nightmare. In all fucking honesty. There we go. I had to fix the camera a bit. But yeah, it makes it a nightmare. Now... Throughout the stream, I mostly just use these two. I want to I wanna go out. If we're going to... If the game is going to die, if the game is going to shut down forever and ever, I want to go with... Uh, go out with a classic. The car that I've basically been driving throughout... I, from... Since I started playing GTA V, in all honesty, when I started playing online, which... Uh, that was years ago. That was probably around 2013, 2014, I'd say. For me, for me, this is what I think of GTA V, you know, or, yeah, 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 like the online portion, driving around in a big-ass car, like a cool-looking car, and just cruising around, you know, maybe blowing some shit up occasionally, but, um, really, I'm gonna miss this, I'm gonna miss this, but at the same time, there's a level of, like, sort of interest I have in looking at this, right? Also, god damn, that dude had a fucking... That dude, Nintendo Core, oh, that dude is absolutely based. Fucking G4 TV, wow, I have I have not heard of anyone or anything referring to G4, wow. Not sure if it's the same G4, but man, man. Surprised that even came back, honestly. that's that's That was the biggest surprise of 2020, but, you know, we're in 2021, so whatever. Anyway, you know, with this video, I'm just trying to basically kind of just give a, give a sort of overview of the sort of goings on the PS3 version, which isn't much. You know, the game really kind of just stagnated, um, thanks in due part to the fact that Rockstar really didn't give this game many updates. But um, there was still a sort of soft community, in a way. Not anything like how you'd, you'd see on, like, forums or anything. There's not a specific PS3 forum for GTA, uh, or, or at least not that I know of, who knows. Um, but it was quaint and it was nice, right? Also, I see a fucking... I see in the fucking map, I see one of those godforsaken minions in the distance. We'll try to avoid it as much as possible, but we'll see, we'll see. Actually, is that, is that, I'm not even remotely sure what the fuck that is. It might be, it might be, oh my god it is, yep, it, that, I was correct in my assessment. But I feel like this game is one of those ones where the, the online portion, I love it, I love the online portion, but I also despised it, right? It was, like... I'm going to miss the ability to play with my bro. That's the one thing I'm going to miss. But aside from that, the game's overall online was a clusterfuck and a half, right? Like, the ability to basically just sell, or, like, not even sell, but the ability to just buy a shit ton of houses or vehicles or do all sorts of crazy shit was, it was a cool idea at first, but I feel like as the game progressed and as the game went on, it became more and more of a slog to unlock anything. Nowadays, GTA V, I think, has become sort of just this ghost town, almost, in terms of players. I mean, usually you'd see a lot more people than this, but, you know, I guess that kind of goes without saying. Uh, a game that's soon to die probably isn't going to be having the most liveliest thing. 
what what makes me kind of sad is the fact that this game will basically just be single player, kind of like how the other GTAs are, or at least technically. I mean, I know that GTA San Andreas, I think, has a multiplayer mode, so at least at this point, for the only other Rockstar game I can think of that's officially shut down, um, which is a damn shame. I mean, it, I'm not sure specifically why GTA V was, is going to be disabled. And I, I realistically think it's more about money. You know, it's, it's one of the only versions you can play for free. It's one of the only versions where most of the mechanics are a lot simpler. And thus, it requires a lot less effort to go into. Cars are cheaper in this one compared to the later versions. And there's just a significant difference in between, um, you know, GTA V Online on, you know, PS3 versus the Xbox One or even the, X, the, the PS5, which I'm not even sure if, not even sure if it's out yet, in all fairness. I'm going to miss this game. I'm, I'm gen I am absolutely going to miss this game for, for what, everything that it did. I mean, sure, it's not technically, physically going away. I mean, I still, I'll still own it, but the, the online portion will be disabled, which is a damn shame because a lot of PS3 games have been shutting down, or at least, you know, have, or at least were shutting down, you know. Thank God for, thank God for community servers and people willing to bring shit back. God bless. You know, I'm at least glad about that. That's at least a thing. We lose GTA V, but what we lose in GTA, we gain in several other games coming back. So it's sort of like a monkey paws thing. It's like a, I guess, yeah, it's like mon it's like a monkey paw thing, you know. And I say that because I was doing sort of like a curious little thing, right? It was uh, during the whole coronavirus thing, like at the very beginning of it. I was looking at games on the PS3 in terms of in terms of like livability, right? Not really like livability, like you're gonna live there, but instead of how how lively is the servers, right? GTA V was number one. GTA V was the kind of game that damn well was getting upwards of like thousands of fucking players, you know. And I would just go and guesstimate that purely on the amount of players playing in servers alone. Uh, just cruising around, fucking shit up, just some stuff like that. This game I always considered the busiest, and as time goes on, it's just this game has dwindled. Um, sure, there's still people playing it, but compared to how it was back then, or even a few months ago, it's a lot less. You know, truth be told, um, GTA as a game has basically just become sort of just a game to laugh at in a, in a way. You know, Rockstar continues to just pump it out. And keep throwing people GTA 5 as if it was the only thing they've made in 10 fucking years. Which, I mean, at this point, it pretty much is. Aside from, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2, but I'm not really going to play that. So, at this point, it really is just GTA 5, isn't it? Which is a damn shame. It's a damn shame. You know, I love GTA 4, but we really need a new GTA. But, considering how they're adding story content to the online mode it really just seems like you know this this is this mode right here the online is the only thing they care about cuz really at this point in a weird way you could technically say that GTA online has basically turned into an MMO you know not like the resource kind but more just you well actually no you do need resources you need money and you have to either grind it out like you would with a fucking massive MMO or you have to just spend the money, like an MMO, so, I mean, realistically, it's just turned into an MMO. This version right here isn't like that, you know? Well, then again, because of the sheer amount of modders and pure chaos, and the fact that Rockstar had eventually just said fuck it and let the entirety of the, you know, community take over, take hold of it, as is one good example of what the fuck happened to this game. I think... I think for me, that'll always be one of the reasons why I'll be a little sad seeing this game go. You know, I, I do enjoy games with customization, and it'll always annoy me to think that this game had so much stuff you could do with it. I mean, granted, it wasn't like your, your, um, it wasn't anything on the level of, like, your Saints Rows. Even Saints Row 1 had more customization than GTA 5 Online, but... It was just the ability to create a custom character or, like, you know, cruise around in your own custom car that you have permanently. It's, like, stuff like that I enjoy. And the fact that they couldn't have just done it in a way where you could have it... Like, cause the later versions of GTA, um, like GTA V, actually, I'm not as mad if, let's say, that shut down. Because at least then, if you make, like, a quick account real quick, make a character, and then never play online again, you can still play with that character so long as... You have the save file, so you're good. God damn, that wind is getting strong as fuck. Then again, they did say 60 mile an hour winds, 
So, you know, that is true, but whatever. It's it's one of those things, though, honestly. Like, just... It's it's just... Oh, man. I'm gonna miss it. Like, I played a little bit of some of the mini games that people were doing, like... Uh, what was it? Blowing cars up, or like doing little little parkour things to climb up to a mountain, and then you battle things, stuff like that. Like I love, I loved what the community did with this game. They made like little little maps and all that. It was it was a fun time, right? And I love the chaos that kind of can come from an open world game such as this. Like, don't get me wrong, right? GTA Five isn't a, isn't a magnum opus. It isn't like the best game ever made. I would never I will never say that. I will say. I enjoy GTA 5, I enjoy vanilla, or, or I guess PS3 GTA 5, because it remained at a very specific point. It's a lot like playing the PS3 version of uh, the Orange Box, specifically Team Fortress 2. It's like playing that, right? It feels quaint in comparison to what we have now. Like, nowadays, you go to something like GTA 5, you know, there's there's hover cars, and there's laser laser fucking missiles and all that. There's there's alien weapons. There's all sorts of crazy shit in the game. There's, like, DeLoreans that can fly and shoot missiles now. And you go back to this one. You go back to this one. And it just feels so quaint in comparison because it feels so grounded. You know? There's not... There's not like, this one basically just feels like, you know, how the game should have been. You know, grounded with a little bit of goofiness and mostly the writing, but just having an overall fun experience. Now it's basically a pay-to-win game where uh, people can just fly around in easy wind vehicles and just, you know, ruin the game for everybody else. It's not a fun time, and from what I've seen at least, it is just completely shit the bed. And I am genuinely sad by that. I am genuinely sad by that. That we that we lost that, you know? I'm at least well aware of, at least, that GTA 4 has become more of an active community. People have started playing GTA 4 more and more, as I've, as I've noticed. Maybe it's just the, the impending doom that lines in GTA 5's future. Maybe it's just uh, people realizing that maybe it's best now that we... Uh, switch hands, you know, switch over from GTA 4 to GTA 5. After all, um, GTA 4 is the only other, you know, online, you know, Rockstar game on the PS3 outside of, let's say, um, Red Dead Online, which I think that's still good. I've never heard anything about Rockstar being like, yeah, we're going to pull the plug on that because I believe it's peer-to-peer, -peer, um, which is nice. I mean, I, that's I've always said that peer-to-peer -peer games, although some people disagree and really don't like it and would rather have a dedicated server... Um, dedicated servers are fine, but the problem with it is, is longevity, since, you know, a vast majority of games made for the PS3 use dedicated servers, and at this point, a vast majority of them have been shut down, as a, as a, being, well, as a cause of that, you know, that's, that's why I've usually went with peer-to-peer, -peer. um, a lot of games that are peer-to-peer -peer are still active, a uh, perfect example being the game Fat Princess, which I'm more or less surprised that game even still has people playing it, um, which is nice. Uh, another game that's peer-to-peer, -to, -peer, to my knowledge, is the game Brink, uh, which you can actually get for free. You can actually get that game for free on the PS... Well, PS... Well, you can't get it for free on the PS3. you got to pay money for that. But on Steam, you can actually get it for free, which uh, if you really want to play a game that's like... Um, it's like TF2, but I don't think requires similar enough graphics settings. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. I think they did update uh, TF2 a significant amount, where it makes it a little harder to run. But I think Brink might work uh, if you're really looking for like a like a TF2 type game, but you really don't want to play like TF2. I guess go with Brink. I mean, that's the best thing I can say. <laughs> God damn, that's like peak Dave moment, isn't it? Just just talking about fucking a game shutting down and then immediately talk about Brink. Who? Anyway, anyway. I want to just say that th this game has been fun. It has been fun. Um, some memorable moments, at least in my mind, is the hot dog event. A uh, modder popped in, made, gave everyone hot dog wieners, and then fucking flew off into the ether. Shit like that I'll always miss. Just the sort of abstract like ridiculousness that this game can provide for, for just moments on end. Uh, just yesterday, during the stream I was doing... Uh, it started snowing randomly, which only happened uh, once before, and that was uh, when I started playing it, which in a way is a little symbolic, you know? The, the, the first time I played it snowed, and then the, the last time I played it snowed. Um, it's kind of it's great in that way, right? It's kind of it's beautiful in this, in this, in this kind of random way. But I will miss this. I will certainly miss the online portion. It, it's, it's become a lot more silent over the years. 
I don't say that by like the car sound effects or explosions or anything. No, no, no. The sound effects are most certainly still there. No, I, I mean that in the sense of voice chat, right? Be before, let's say around when the game launched, I'm going to say around 2013, 2014, right? People were using <laughs> voice chat all the fucking time. And the years that preceded it, you know, everyone was using voice chat. And, and for me, I always love that. I always love hearing what the hell people are saying, even if it's just incoherent nonsense, even if it's basically the equivalent of nothing. I, I love that because it kind of adds something. It adds flavor to a game that already was filled with it, you know? It's it's sort of like the, the inherent soul of something, you know? I don't know. I just I just love the chaos that can be that can be made from just voice chat alone. But adding that to a game and adding the context of everyone being in the same sort of area and all that, or in the same sort of video game, is it's kind of fun. I don't know. I just I really enjoy voice chat in video games because it's just it's just fun. It's just fun. I love it. And I don't know. Just the sheer amount of chaos that can happen just from people. I mean, this. Oh shit! All right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. We're good. <laughs> Ah uh, man, but that's that's the thing. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sad when this game goes, but I think it's probably for the best that it does. Honestly, like, which is a weird thing to say, but this game has basically kind of went to a certain extent, right? Like, no one who really is playing this game is playing it because they like it. They're playing it mostly because they they're stuck at GTA Five, right? Like most most people are like that, like. I, I want to see more games or more people try different free roamers. I love I love this game, but I would love to see, you know, maybe a dedicated server. Maybe, like, a peer-to-peer -peer server be built for it. Um, kind of like what happened with, like, uh, what's what's trying to be made for Little Big Planet and what happened to Mod Nation. Like, I want that to happen with this game, but nothing too big. You know, I don't want this to become something super popular again. I don't want GTA V to become, uh, you know, big. Because I think that's what happens, inevitably, is with specific games, it seems like the minute it dies, you know, the, the, the first death, I guess I should say, you know, when the, the main server is shut down and the, the devs basically just abandon the game outright, it always goes back to the fans to really fix what happened, to, 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 to real heal, to real, really, uh, my lips are a little dry, but realistically to heal the wounds that the devs basically caused, you know, deleting the game outright. And I died. All right. You know, that was fair. That was fair. But, um, yeah. And the second death basically just happens when even the, the fans abandon the game. Whether that be because of just uh, negligence or, you know, a, a whole bunch of other stuff. But usually that doesn't happen because usually f there's enough fans where if one person abandons a project, there's usually other people interested in keeping it alive. So it all depends on what the thing is, you know? I mean, look at Doom. Doom's basically a game that's... Basically, just survived purely off fan love, you know? I mean, sure, we have Doom Eternal and Doom 2016, but before then, you know, when we were living in the, the age of just, you know, Doom 3 being the biggest, like, the newest thing, or I should say Doom BFG being basically being the newest Doom game, which is really just a port of a game that, that came out far earlier. Yeah. It's, the, it's stuff like this that really is, is amusing, you know? The kind of try-hard gamers purposefully doing this kind of stuff, just aggressively crashing into you, shooting you, and all that. It's like, it's almost quaint to a certain extent, right? But it also is what this game is kind of built for, right, in a weird way. Like, you, you go to GTA 4, and all of this most, mostly just comes from the fact that people really just want to kill you. They want to take you out. They don't want to, they don't want you to have any sort of fun, you know? And I've, I've seen that more than once, you know? It's it's that vindictiveness that kind of soaks this game like like a fucking like a pus, you know? Because it's cause that's the one thing I really don't like about this game. Everyone is out to get you, and it's just sure sure you know the game gives you guns, and if you shoot someone, you're inevitably going to do it. It's like yeah, I get that, but it's just I don't know I don't know. It's just the fact that there's not really much of a goal. I mean, shit, the game basically discourages you from killing each other or even killing at all because then it's just like oh yeah your 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 psychometer will go up and if it goes up then it'll mean that you'll have a harder time you know hiding from other players it's like i never got that system because it's like you know i get it's a free roamer and all that but adding all these mechanics really just makes it less of a fun experience um but it is weird it genuinely is weird looking at how players play this game over gta 4 because gta 4 
is is almost the ant is completely opposed to this game. You know, you don't you don't own anything in that game. You don't. You, all, the only thing you have is like a preset player model, and I'm not even mad about that. Sure, there's some modders that can manage to get like a dude that's just wearing like a fucking a thong, and that's basically it, just fucking running around like a goober. And in that case, I'm I'm just more amused than anything. But in this game, it's like everyone everyone wants to kill you. Everybody wants to do it. It's just like there's no. There's no camaraderie, you know, there's no just like, oh yeah, I mean, like, like, every once in a while, but usually it's just, um, they put sticky bombs in the car before they see you, and then they just jump off and blow you up. Or, some people will be very vindictive about it and get, like, the super armored car, which, oh my god, I still remember that kid with the little armored car. That was great, that was great. Um, it was when I was playing this game early, early on, I was, I was, I always loved to play this game, but I never liked to play it how others did. See, for me, I always kind of seen the progression system that this game has. You know, money, collecting money and repeating the same missions over and over and over again. It's, it, it can be fun to a certain extent, but it's always more laborious than anything. Like, I get, <laughs> I can, I get why people like it, right? I get why people like the system that's built. You know, it's, it's, there is a sort of fun to be had with it, but at the same time, I also don't get it because, it's just repetition, you know? It's just, let me just do the same thing 50 different times. Is it fun? No. Maybe the first time, but this game isn't really built for, like, 50 different modes. It's mostly just built for open world shit, you know? Like I said before, GTA 4 compared to GTA 5 is something else. It was a, it was a game where it's like everyone was killing each other, but... It never felt actively malicious. It just kind of felt like everyone was just playing the game. You know what I mean? This game, it feels malicious in a weird way. Maybe it's because in this game, you know, every time you die, you lose money like how you would in the regular game. Maybe it's because there's so many more ways to be malicious in this game. Send out troopers, uh, get super tanks that can basically wipe out people in an instant. Um, just destroy shit for no reason. Like... There's, a, there's an extra level of vindictiveness you can do in this game, which always amuses me. Like, I could I could just do this. I mean, realistically, I, we have, I have no reason to, but I could. I could. And my, I might as well. You know, let's, let's call in an airstrike. Fuck it. Because of the fact that this game is going to be basically shutting down, I might as well, I might as well just enjoy using, like, the Meriwether shit. Just fucking airstrikes and soldiers and all sorts of shit. You know, I might as well just go in. There's no... God damn, that, re that really is just a fucking airstrike. That is... That is fucking awesome. God damn. You know what? Let's go in for another. Let's go in for a goddamn another one. Oh! Oh, we can't even, we can't even do that. Alright, fine. Let's call him on, you know, this person, fuck it. Got it. <laughs> boot, sir. There we go. By yourself? I mean, at this point, I'm just going to be vindictive because it's just, I mean, why not? It's... Uh, last few hours of this game and <laughs> I see no reason not to at this point you know like the entirety of when I played this game I mostly just played in passive which yeah sounds lame as fuck I mean it's like why play passively because of that innate fear that it's like you know you you have money you know when you're starting this game you barely have like a thousand something dollars let's say and when you're playing this game early on you really really don't want to be losing any fucking money you know or at least that's how I thought about it. You know, I do not want to be losing money if I'm playing this game. Let's see. Did they remove that via the weapon? They, I think they actually did. I think they actually removed the 4th of July cannon. That fucking sucks. That was one of my favorite vehicles. Oh. Dicks. That is Dicks. Who's that? Dark Thunder 65? Alright, I'm coming for you, buddy. 
I'm coming for you, fucker. You know what? I might as well not. I might as well just use the power of money. Girl, no. No, but you didn't tell me. Why don't you text my number? I told you, text my number. I did. No, you didn't. You texted my answer. Probably my fucking, um, my messenger. I don't talk. I don't go on messenger a lot. Mary Weather, for your private security needs. You know what? Fuck it. You know, give me, give me a fucking helicopter. Fuck it. Send me a goddamn helicopter. Let's see what. Because you know what? It's It kills me to think that, yeah, you can just spawn the shit in. Oh my god, what? I got a fucking. I got a goddamn achievement? Alright, dialing digits. Is it like a. Like, do I just point? Point is who's annoying you? You know what? Fine. What? Are you done? No. Oh, I. Okay, shit. Huh. I mean, hell, I got an achievement and I got my money back, so I thought it would just drop a helicopter, to be honest. This is, this is all interesting to me, honestly. You know what? I think we'll go with a new change of clothes. I was, like, just playing as, like, a like a BMX-looking dude. Because, like, why not? Why not? You know? The BMX was... The bicycle was always one of my favorite vehicles in this game, and that's not even... That's not even being facetious. That's just being genuine. Also... You know what, I'm, not even, I'm gonna let those fuckers live, fuck it, why not? Alright, now now we've ballooned in size. Now there's a lot more people playing this. That's 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 good to hear, at least. That's good to see. I like that. I swear to God, let's see. Let's see what other stuff I can do. What other what other things I can, can I summon with? The power of money. Mechanic. Oh, yeah, right. I can just call in for my car to be summoned here. I like that, but I hate the idea that you just... You have to basically remember what the car is specifically. And it's like sometimes you just, you just hop back in this game and you're like, I'm not sure what the fuck the car was. I'm not sure what it was at all. Let's see, is there like a... Nothing, go. Go! You gonna go talk to mom? No, we gotta go talk to somebody away. Alright. EP pistol flare gun. Yeah, boys. There we go. Flare it up. Oh, shit. I'm just causing a fucking car accident right here. Woo. I never liked how the cops worked in this game. They're, they're, it's not even that they're hard. They're just kind of obnoxious. I always liked how GTA 4's cops were. Then again, like the later, the even even later on, it's basically just one big circle. Which I forget. I think that's how this works, or it's mostly just like a uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's like a view cone type thing, kind of like how it was in kind of like how it works in I believe. Oh, and Metal Gear, honestly, has the like the view cone thing where it's like, oh no, there's the enemy. Let's try, let's try finding someone, <laughs> seeing if they kill me or not, or if I can kill them before. At this point, that's basically what we're doing, just a slaughter quest, because like I'm not really seeing any like um, little side missions or anything. I think you can't get shy or car anymore, which is interesting. The the vehicle catapult. God damn that frame rate, Jesus. I still remember when everyone was playing GTA 5. I still remember that shit. I remember, like, fucking Vine Sauce, LGR, fucking every, everybody was doing it. Everybody was playing GTA 5 at one point or another. I could see why, totally, because at the time it was a great game, and it still is, but still, you know. It's time to leave California, as they say. Or I should specifically say uh, that one video from, I think, jo oh, oh. Normal Man? Normal Man? Alright. Yeah, he's just standing there. 
Yep. Fuck the police. Oh no! Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, friend. Sorry, friend. You're getting eliminated. He died as he lived, just standing there. The f why, why the fuck am I using a pistol? It's like a life or death situation. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna. I, I just. I need your store just to survive. That, that dude has a fuck ton of health, though. God damn. Are you fuck? What the hell? What the fuck? Are you. Wow, they only got me because of my gun fucking decided no more. Hmm. I'm not sure how to make it, how I should end this video off of. It's about 30 minutes. We've we've been exploring a bit and Really, I'd say this is probably going to be the last of the GTA thing ever, so. I kind of want to go on, like, a send-off, right? Like, one last thing, a la, like, Joel's final video in the, um, San Andreas series. Except we're doing this on a console, so I can't really be flying around in a goddamn cheeseburger for anyone that, um, seen that video. They know what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. So, you know what? Let's go to, let's get out of the city. Yeah, let's go right the fuck here. This seems like a good place to just end things. It's been good. It's been good. You know? Plenty of people playing it still, but... You know, in a few hours, probably less, this game will be all but gone. <clears throat> Leaving behind some good memories. No, uh, well. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute, no, this isn't, this isn't where I wanted to go at all, alright. Where the fuck? Oh, Jesus, oh, fuck, I see that fucking thing. I'm trying to get to, like, the top of the goddamn thing. Is it, was it that? I think that's where we're supposed to go, actually. 